Hello friends, very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I am going to show you how to design a news application in dark mode. We are going to design this up and this is a design that we are going to build today where we have this beautiful design, right? So let's get started with this particular design right now. So now you can see I have created a new project and it is already running using the command ionic serve. This is a standalone project which we have created and it is totally empty. We don't have anything in the CSS and in the TS file also we just have the stuff that was already available to us. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to design it up as a way you have already seen. So at first what am I going to do? I will have some buttons within my iron toolbar but before that since it is a dark mode so I am going to pass the color to be dark to my toolbar along with that to my iron content also I will pass the color to be dark alright now it is fully a dark mode after doing so what am I going to do I will have here iron buttons now there is a special feature that is introduced with this particular one now you just look at it in this standalone one I have not passed it in the TS file but it is taken it is being taken automatically here okay there is an extra comma that is coming up because I just wrote iron button and then s was added there so it is taking automatically here and in the imports also so you don't have to do a lot of tasks now which was a big deal to update all these things but this is being done itself it is a feature of visual studio code or it is done by default by the ionic team i am not sure about it but yeah this is being done which is in fact great now within that i'll have iron button which is already being declared automatically within the iron button well first of all let me give the slot to be start and within this iron button i'm going to pass an iron icon here okay this iron icon just look at it it is automatically added here we haven't done anything right so i'll pass a name here called menu outline and to pass this particular one it will not come up automatically because this is standalone and we need to add our icons so for that i will go to the app.component.ts file and here i have already done let me uncomment this add icons and this is the add icons one i will be needing these three things mostly so i will just uncomment it okay this is how you can add the icons and these are the imports that you need so at a, as of now i just need the menu outline but yeah these two are also needed so you have to do it one by one for the timing let me remove it so that we can all be on the same page right all right so it is removed now let's get back to our html part now you see the menu button again what am i going to do i will copy it not the iron button in fact the iron buttons I will copy it and paste it once again slot will be end and I will have a search button here so search outline we are not going to implement the functionality for search and menu item here menu outline one but uh, it is just shown for the design purpose that's it again I'll go to app component file and here search outline i'm going to pass it and it is imported automatically it's done and we you can see the design that is coming up here for the icon one once that is done our header part is complete we don't need to do anything else here now we just need to work with our iron content within the iron content what am i going to do at first i'm going to have an iron fab button which is this particular one this is the fab button and this all images well i already have it in my code let me just show you in the assets folder i have already created a folder called imgs where i have all these images which i have taken from pixabay so you just need to go to pixabay here and it's free for using it now if i type here vr you will get lots of images and you can select the one that you are looking for so this is the image which i have taken here let me just show you this is the one so accordingly you can find the other images also okay now let me close it so i have five images and i'm going to have the data which i have already taken from chat gpt with the help of chat gpt i have created some dummy data which i'm just going to show you here okay let's have some news array of type any array 
that's going to be equals to an empty array initially and in the ng on init we don't need on init to be implemented here as we directly have this function available okay so now i'm going to pass this dot news will be equals to the array data that i'm just going to pass which i have taken from with the help of chat gpt so let me replace this particular data just check this out this is the data which i have taken from chat gpt help and I have just replaced the image URL here. That's it. Now this data is ready. This is our array which we have prepared and we are going to use this array in our design part to show whatever we need. Okay. Now in this particular one, we have image URL then the title date and the author who is author there. Okay. So this is the data. Now, first of all, I'm going to have the iron fab button here. So iron fab. In this particular way, it will be imported automatically. I'm going to have slot to be a fixed one and horizontally towards the end part and vertically towards the bottom part. If you do that up, you will be able to see something if we pass an iron fab button because that is just a wrapper, the iron fab. Okay. Now within the iron fab button, I'm going to pass an icon here called add. Now this add, I need to pass it in app dot component dot ts file in this way imported right now we will be able to see the add button here but i want to change the color so i will change the color to be danger here in this particular way there we go it is working for us after doing that the next part is to work with this particular one here okay the iron segment part which is very important so let's go for that now, in order to work with that, I will have here ion segment, okay, in which I will pass few properties, say like scrollable to true, so that we can scroll from left to right pretty easily. And then the mode of the design, I have given it as iOS because iOS design is pretty cool to work with. So I want for the Android part to have the same design as we have for the iOS one. That is why this is important. And within this ion segment, I will have iron segment button okay it is also imported so you can see we are not getting any error as of now if i just close it this one also and check it here everything is getting implemented or added automatically we are not doing anything as of now which is in fact great that was one of the lacking which i faced earlier but now with standalone one i am feeling great to work with that now to this iron segment button i'll pass a value here called recent news and the text will be recent news okay that's how it is going to show up let's break it down okay similarly i will have two more buttons copy and paste two more times one will be top news and one will be some around news or whatever name you want to give you can just give that okay this will get changed it's gonna be around news and this will be top news and the value by default i want to be selected is the top news one the middle one all right that's how we are going to work with now the major part comes into play is the designing part just look at the design it's not the one that we can see in the image right this is what we need to implement in order to do so we need to go to our scss and work with our iron segment here so in the iron segment what am i going to do at first, I'm going to have the background of iron segment to be the darker one. You won't see the changes here because iron segment is the major wrapper, okay? And you see here the iron segment button. So don't worry, it's very much important to give this dark background. Otherwise, you will see some different color stuff, which I don't want. Then I want to implement the iron segment button also and have the same background there too in this particular way. All right, still no change you have seen, don't need to worry. Then I will have the indicator color to be the dark one. So if I do that, the background color of the indicator one, the one that is selected becomes a dark one and others are by default dark, which we have already been given. Now there's a slight shadow part which you can just see here, right? In order to make it invisible, you simply need to pass indicator box shadow to be of the dark color. So same color you're passing and then it will go away. Now after doing that, I will pass some color by default color i want to pass the medium color and the one that is selected will have the white color one that is why this top news is of white color and others are of medium color 
that's what we have done so far now i want some margin top at the above the iron segment well so i think 10 pixel will be fine right great once again this is turn now i need some padding here right because in the design that we saw here this is just wrapping up somewhere it's, this is just hiding a little bit okay so in order to do that we need to pass some padding and in order to do so what i'll do here in the iron segment button i'm going to pass padding left and right to be 3.5 vh if we do so it is coming up and we can see a scroll bar also since we have given scrollable to true that is why the scroll bar is coming up and if you want to hide this scroll bar you can do that let me just show you how to hide this scroll bar and still achieve the same result so in order to do that first of all what am i going to do i'm going to execute this particular css where i will access the scroll bar width and height so now if you just check it out look at this there is hardly anything visible right now what about if i give the track color to be of dark one so if i just increase it by five see i don't see anything as of now let me pass two more things and it will be done so this stuff is very much important let's see if the background color let's say we are passing the primary one what impact will it show up just look at this this is the impact that is showing up and this particular one the hover one let's call it primary and this one also let's have the primary color just look at this okay this is the whole stuff because we have defined the height and weight if you want to increase the height and weight you can do that weight and height is important just look at this you can increase the height and weight of the scroll bar also according to your choice now here i don't want to be a little bit bigger in fact i can have one pixel also it's going to be fine now i will change this primary back to dark one so you have seen how this things actually works you have to make the necessary changes in order to hide your like the color of the scroll bar and it is gone now so you will have the same scrollable feature where there is no scroll bar that is visible okay hope it's clear to you after doing so what is the next step which is very much important is to design our actual news part okay so i'm not going to play around with top news recent news and around news i'm just going to show this up you can work with that by passing like an if else condition that if top news is there then you can show this up or if some other news then you can show some different stuff but i don't want to do that for the time being because this is just a design part that i want to show you that is why i will directly design it i won't do anything else here so let's work with that now after the iron segment i'm going to work with iron card here so card is imported and this particular card i'm going to loop it up in this particular way which you have already seen so many times now because this is the latest feature of angular 17 that we have already seen all right so within this card i'm going to pass an ion img ion image okay imported and here i will pass src to be item question mark dot image url so you can see this is how it is showing up right now let's design it a bit then we will move ahead so i'll go to the scss at first and work with the iron card here so iron card let's work with that first of all you can see some border radius here by default let me remove that by passing border radius to be zero it's going to work now after that i will fix the height of the image along with the margin too i will change the margin as per my requirement so the margin top and bottom will be 10 pixels and on the left and right i will have 16 pixel because by default it was 16 pixel on both sides and on top and bottom i think it was 24 pixel or something but i changed it as per our requirement now it's looking better it's pretty close right that's what we need now after that we have the iron image where i'm simply going to pass iron image width and height to be 100 percent and object fit to be covered if you don't pass it up just look at this how it behaves it is not showing up properly I want it to take the cover as a cover image that is why now it will be properly visible just look at this okay which is very much important now after doing that i will have an overlay on top of this image so that we if we type some uh, text also it will still be visible right in order to do so what am i going to do i will pass here a div and within this div i'll pass a class called 
image overlay you can pass any name you want but i'll work with this image overlay here let me break it down now this image overlay i will pass few css here which is absolute position then top left to be zero zero and width and height to be 100 percent i have given background color i have given zero zero that is the dark color and opacity of 0 0.3 i have given this is looking a little darker which is great and this pointer event allow clicks to pass through the overlay to the underlying content so that is why this is important i hope you've got that so now everything is great right it is looking better now you can work with the opacity as per your requirement but i think it's fine 0 0.3 is great after doing that we can directly pass our content here which will be the iron card content all right within this i am going to have the iron card title within this title i am going to pass the title of the headline okay don't worry it is not showing up right now we will work with the css in order to show that up because z index we need to change it up in order to show it on the top after that we also need some p tag but let's fix that for the time being then we will work with the p tag here to pass the author name now what am i going to do i'll work with the iron card content here because that's what is our wrapper for the title one now within this i'm going to pass position to be absolute width of 100 percent so that it can take the full size and bottom to be like five pixel from the bottom 5% not pixel left to be 50% from the left and transform in x-axis to be 50% so that it gives at the center part that index I given as 2 so that it uh, overlays on top of every all the content and padding bottom I've given it as 0 I don't want any padding bottom because by default there is some padding bottom here that is why it is important to pass it up now still we don't have the proper design as we are looking for so we need to work with our iron card title to design it up where i'll simply change the font size and color that's it so i've changed the font size and color and you can see this is showing up pretty nicely after that is done i will go to the html and work with the p tag here so within the p tag i will have an iron text iron text in which i will simply pass by the author name okay now this author name is showing up and we can design this one too by passing it here p tag then within the iron text font size of 0 0.7 little bit smaller font weight of bold and color of light gray is fine for me it is visible and quite nicely uh, showing up right the design is looking great and it is the same design that you have already seen here just look at it that's the same stuff that we see here right so we have achieved the same design and you have seen how exactly we have performed the task. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section how you like this video and hit the like button. If you really like this video, share it with your friends too. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about Ionic and all of the stuff, then you can check my courses the links are there in the description and even the templates and the platforms which i'm selling directly so go and check it out right now links are there in the description thank you so much for watching guys and i'm going to see you next time